Michael Johnson, from Harry Johnson, and here we go. Thank you, Dr. Awards and Scholarships. Graduation awards and scholarships are of a special nature because seniors are rewarded for excellence. All awards are determined by either the faculty or the organization that makes the award. The first award is the Watkins Montour Rotary Scholarship. This $500 scholarship is given to a senior who has displayed high standards of character and academic achievement. The winner, chosen by a committee from the Rotary Club, is Drew Ermisher. Will you please come forward? George Van Busker Memorial Award. This award is given annually to a senior who plans to attend college, has a strong academic ability, and is an outstanding school citizen. The recipient from 1993 is Stacy Reynolds. Foundation Award. This award in the amount of $500 is given annually to the senior who has achieved the highest score on the college entrance examination. This year's winner is Robert Halpin. Francis C. Ward Memorial Award. This award is made possible by Elizabeth Ward and many friends of Dr. Ward. It is presented to a senior who will study in a medical field. The winner from 1993 is Thomas Lovell. Mark Lovell Memorial Scholarship. Mark Lovell was a business teacher at Odessa Montour. During her tenure, she gave generously of her time and talent, hoping to prepare students for the realities of the business world. The students who received this scholarship exemplify the characteristics that Mark endeavored to instill in all of her students. Contributions to this scholarship were made by the friends family, and co-workers who wish to honor her efforts. These scholarships in the amount of $200 each are awarded to Mary Lezik and Sherry Smalley. The Odessa Montour Clerical Staff Award. It would be difficult to find a more dedicated and efficient group of people anywhere than those who make up the clerical staff at Odessa Montour. The winner from 1993 is Sarah Patilla. Odessa Montour Teachers Association Educators Award. The Teachers Association annually presents two $100 awards to seniors who plan to study in education. The winners from 1993 are Gina Menzi and Dan Merch. The Odessa Montour Teachers Association Academic Awards. 
The OMTA also presents $100 awards to the two seniors who have maintained a high average while compiling a large number of high school credits. The winners for 1993 are Nathan Dennis and Thomas Lovell. Edward Dolan Mathematics Scholarship. This scholarship was developed by Mrs. Thelma Dolan as a legacy to this highly regarded mathematics teacher. The award is a perpetual memorial to Mr. Dolan. In recognition of excellence in mathematics, this $400 award is given to Stacy Scott. Crosley Senior Award. This award is considered by me to be the outstanding prize of the year because the winner is chosen by the members of the senior class. The senior who has been selected to best represent the class of 1993 is Daniel Murch. The Walter Baird Engineering Award. The scholarship was instituted by Mrs. Elizabeth Baird to honor the memory of her late husband. The winner this year, Christopher Chapman. The VFW Post. 674 Scholarship. The VFW established this award several years ago to honor outstanding seniors. This award, in the amount of $200 each, is given in 1993 to Robert Halpin, Nathan Demers, Drew Ermisher, and Stacy Scott. K. Forrest Memorial Scholarship. This $200 scholarship is given to the honor to honor the memory of Donald K. Forrest. It is presented to a senior who will continue education in the field of art. The winner is Nathan Demerest. Business and Professional Women's Club of Walk and Swan Award. A $75 bond is presented annually to an outstanding student in business and commercial subjects. The winner for 1993 is Sarah Patilla. is the Alice Lepresti Nursing Award. Since her retirement from nursing, Mrs. Lepresti has presented the special nursing award and she will do so again this evening. Mrs. Lepresti. We'll continue to vote for the place called the team. Just, these are just a few minutes, so you and I are going to have together. 
Apparently, I retired and you started school on that 13 years ago. So in the future, your life is to be a nurse and go on the Coast Guard. Nursing is very interesting, exciting, challenging, but rewarding. There were two words that have followed me all my years that mean a lot, adjustment and compassion. And that is needed to care for patients, regardless of their race, their creed, their color, their illness, or their injury. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there wishing you success in the future. Continue to make your parents proud of you, and look back to the one CS, what they did for you too. There was two things happened to me while I was in the Air Corps, and that was 50 years ago. I not only got my nurses training, I found somebody to live with for 47 years. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Lukowski. It's nice that I've ever seen her. <laughs> I know she can't come back to the microphone, sorry. The Southern Chair Counselors Association Scholarship. The Southern Chair Counselors Association annually presents a college day at the Island Mall. The proceeds from this are presented to outstanding seniors throughout the Twin Tiers. This award, in the amount of $400 each, is given in 1993 to Michelle Wolcott and Shannon Iowa County Sheriff's Association Criminal Justice Award. The Sheriff's Association initiated this award in 1984 to present to a Schuyler County senior who will enter the field of criminal justice. The award in the amount of $1,250 is presented to John Jellop. Community Service Award. This $100 award is given to the senior who has gone beyond what is required in order to help others in this community. For his work with the Odessa Volunteer Firemen, this year's winner is John Gella. Financial Institutions of Schuyler County Award. The Financial Institutions of Schuyler County annually present a $200 bond to an outstanding senior in mathematics. The 1993 winner is Christopher Chapman. Carpenter Senka Agency Business Administration Award. This award is given annually to a senior who plans to attend college, has a strong academic ability, and who will study business in college. The winner for 1993 is Sherry Smalley. Odessa Montour Superintendent's Award. The Superintendent of Schools presents a $100 award to an outstanding graduate. The 1993 winner is Thomas Lewis. Fine Arts Boosters Scholarship. The Fine Arts Boosters recognize students who will enter college to study art, 
for music. A $100 bond is presented to each of the following. Nathan Demers will be going to Cornell University to study fine arts. Matthew J. Norton, Greenville College to study contemporary Christian music. Stacy Reynolds, Corning, transfer to Ithaca for a music major. And Candy Schweitzer, Nazareth College, Art Education. Memorial Scholarship. This $500 scholarship is offered by the Business and Professional Women's Club of Watkins Glen. This scholarship is given to a Schuyler County resident and is based on scholastic achievement. This year's recipient is Drew Ermisher. Schuyler County Retired Teachers Association Award. The Retired Teachers Association offers a $100 scholarship to a senior who is planning a career in education following their college studies. The student chosen this year is Daniel Merck. SS Buck Engineering Scholarship. This scholarship is made possible through the generosity of Seely Buck in his name and that of the late Stanley Buck. The award is in the amount of $500 for each of four years. The winner for 1993 is Drew Ermisher.
I'd like to introduce Mr. Ronald Dunbar, Supervisor of Occupational Education at Dosis, to present the vocational certificates. Good evening. On behalf of the Technical Education of Career Center Dosis, we congratulate the 1983 graduating class. At this time, I'd like to recognize those students that took a little different path through high school. The past two years they've spent uh, at the Technical Education and Career Center, spending their long rides on a bus to and from there every single day, and it was not an easy choice for them. But the students would just stand while I call their names, Doug Bailey. Doug was in our conservation program. Doug was a member of FFA. And he placed first in the New York State 4-H contest. Thank you, Doug. <laughs> Betty Jo Bond. Betty Jo was in our Occupational Awareness Program and was a member of our Vocational Industrial Clubs of America. Best of luck to you, Betty Jo. Mickey Schrock. Mickey was in our Cosmetology class. She was a member of the Vocational Industrial Clubs of America, and she participated in the cosmetology competition at our school. Thank you, Nikki. Ben Friday. Ben was in our conservation program. He was a member of the FFA. He was the chapter reporter. He placed third place in the New York State competition of FFA. He placed third place in the 4-H competition. And he was entering the Marine Corps in July. Good luck to you, Ben. Charles Friends. Charles. Charles attended our honor body program, and he is getting ready to attend the Hudson Valley Community College. Good luck to you, Charlie. Brenda Hollins. Brenda spent the past two years in our cosmetology program and is ready to go to work in the shop. She was a member of the Vocational Industrial Clubs of America, and she also participated in our cosmetology competition. Good luck to you, Brenda. Annette Ingram. Annette. Annette is a graduate of our Occupational Awareness Program. She was also a member of the Vocational Industrial Clubs of America, and she's planning on attending CCC this fall. Good luck to you. Amy James. Amy was in our Occupational Awareness Program. I'm sorry, I got you all mixed up, didn't I? Yes. I need to get uh, Annette back up again. No wonder she was looking at me so funny. When you got trifocals, you don't really see too well sometimes. And that was in our Nurse Assistant Program, right? That's better, right? And she was a member of the HOSA, Health Occupation Students of America. I'm sorry. Now Amy James. Amy was in our Occupational Awareness Program, a member of the Vocational Industrial Clubs of America, and she is planning on attending Connie Community College. Good luck to you. Chad Maker. Chad was in our Carpentry Masonry Program. He was also a member of RECA, and he is now enrolled in the Universal Technical Institute, and he's going to study HEVAC, Heating, Air Conditioning, and Ventilation. Good luck to you. James Mayo. James was in our Electronics Technicians Program. He is also a member of the Vocational Industrial Clubs of America. He competed in a regional Vicar competition in Morrisville. He had plans on attending Corning Community College this fall. He